welcome again now today we'll see the demo of tab bar okay so i'll open up xcode i'll go to, i will create one xcode project to demonstrate a tab bar right so tab bar basically used to navigate between multiple view controllers Okay, so tab bar demo next and I will use a 2017 weekend match right iPhone SE then next I will move to the storyboard I'll change it to the iPhone SE layout right we'll get iPhone SE layout now what I will do I need to show the tabs at the bottom so that you can navigate between multiple view controllers or multiple screens so on the tab of first tab you'll get first view controller on second second third right so what I will do I will search for the tab bar controller right so what I will do I will go drag this over here and paste it over here okay so see here let me zoom out see here this is our main first view controller is here and then we are having our tab bar controller fine now tab bar controller comes with a default two view controllers or two tabs see here you can see two tabs right and if you want to attach other view controllers to the tab bar then you just need to right click on the tab bar controller and add this controller to this another view controller so it will give you the three tabs over here it automatically gives you three tabs how many controllers view controllers you have added in a tab bar controller that many tabs you will get over here fine very simple so what I will do I will change these tabs now we'll change the tabs so I'll click over here so this is a tab bar item for your view controller correct so you can select over here item 1 now see there is just a box and item 1 as a label now I will change it over here see here I can change the title I can change the title I can use any image over there for the landscape as well right so we can use those images to show over here image and name also you can use system default icons so see here if I use favorites we'll get star so this is a favorite icon just hold on let me bring up the video Now see. So here we are, we are using favorites as icon, right? So this icon automatically gets over here. See here. inside a tab bar controller. Now I want to change icon for second view controller. So I'll go over here and I will check the recents. Fine. So it will again change over here again. Now another tab bar item, then custom, then I will use contacts, see, contacts icon is there, fine, so, so, presently, our first view controller is your root view controller, 
that means your window will have this view controller but what we'll do we'll change this root view controller to this tab bar controller that means your window will have this tab bar and tab bar will have this three view controllers so to do this you just need to drag this arrow to this tab bar controller it will automatically becomes first view controller fine now see this tab bar will add on the window directly and this tab bar is having its own view controllers three view controllers fine now see let's see we'll run this on iphone se simulator yes yes there is there is a standardization right how images are you have to store in your assets what size of images right so we'll see that later with standardization right i told you to read hig document right human interface guidelines told you so refer that as well right so see here we are getting our tab bar controller so we can move across tabs so let me differentiate the selection so to differentiate the selection i will change the color background colors for view controllers This view will have this color. Okay, so we are having these colors. So when we select particular tab, it will show the respective view controller. So see, we'll get first view controller on the screen by default. Right? Are you getting this? So you can navigate in between. Now see. Another part is we can add more view controllers over here. We'll add another one. Right? So this one. So we need to add it to the view controllers of tab bar control so it will be added over here now we will change change it to bookmarks right now we will change the background color we will change it to this fine now we will add it another view controller over here like it will also a view controllers tab so see book my search so it will be a search fine so we are having total for you controllers Last one, we need to change the background. So we'll change it afterwards. So here, yeah. one, two, three, four, five. Fine. There is space for another view controller. Can we add another? No. So, what if I add another view controller in a tab bar? Scrolling, okay, okay, 
another any possibility okay so yes yes size is fixed right yes so see if we add more than five tabs in a tab controller so it will right it will be shown like this so see here i'll change it the background color okay so if you change or if you add the fifth sixth view controller then see what happens one two three four five six is showing six view controllers so so see custom search downloads will add downloads over there right now i will run it what happened we are getting more option automatically over there see here favorites recent contact bookmarks and more or we'll have other two options so here are four and these two total six fine so if you go from here it will automatically show you the other view controllers fine any problem no now see there is also one default thing available in tab bar if you press edit it will allow you to choose whatever the view controllers you want to show on the tab bar and what will go inside the more button so i need search instead of recent so i will put search on recent it will go here it will be here so see recent will go here and we'll get search over here fine any problem no right so see there are some properties of tab bar controller as well you can change it tab bar background you can change shadow selection image right image tint you can change the color of image selection see here now it will show red instead of green, uh, blue right there are two two styles available with tab bar black and default so black will just look like this transient transient <clears throat> so it will bring your tab bar some transparency see here. fine you can change the bar tint as well fine so see if i run this we'll get this on this view controller it will not show the tab bar because the same color but you can customize your view controllers right search downloads fine we can do default tab default I'm not getting it. Or what you are saying? First, the main first tab open. Then default tab is favorites. Okay. If we want to change to the contacts, when the app is open, the default tab will be contacts. Okay. Okay. Yes. So see. So, where is your uh, item? Which one you want to show? The contact one. Okay. Presently, it's showing. A favorites. Yes. So what we'll do? We'll make it bookmark. And 
What is the tab bar controller? No, this option is for getting your view uh, tab bar controller on the window, which is the root view controller of your window. Not that one. Here you will get. Um, I think here in inspector tab we are not having that option but you can change the selected tab by code right by code inside the code you can get it and you can change it fine so we'll see that later how to change the selected view controller on the tab bar fine so this is up to the view controller, uh, tab bar controller, right? So we can create a tab bar controller like this to have multiple views on the screen. You can navigate in between. Fine. Okay, that's fine. <clears throat> 